Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella and welcome to my kitchen. It's another Christmas special on Cooking with Nonna today and I have my favorite guest in the world, my very own Nonna Romana. Say hello. Hello everybody. Merry Christmas for everybody. <laughs> I want to make some uh, very nice recipe for uh, Christmas Day. So we're making biscottini today and they're a special almond cookie, very typical of Puglia. And we're going to decorate them really fun for Christmas. They're super, super easy. They're actually gluten-free, so that's great. And they're really, really fast to make. So Nonna's going to start. Nonna, what are we going to do first? First, I got to do that. So we're starting with some almonds, some boiled almonds that have been peeled. And these are our raw almonds. Before anything happens to them, they look like this. And all we do is boil them. And once they've been boiled, we lay them out over the table on a, on a very clean linen tablecloth. I remember going to Nonna's basement, and there would just be almonds all over the table. And my job was to slip the peels off. So once they've been boiled and peeled, they look like this. And these are ready to be processed. And they're going to be ground into an almond flour. So we have our handy dandy food processor for that. Okay, we're gonna put it in the machine. Yeah, you gotta put it in the machine. I gotta put it in the machine. Yeah, because I can open. <laughs> these these uh these machines are very uh very high tech for Nanda. Usually she just takes like a mortar and pestle and does it, <laughs> or she does it in her blender. And you can do it in a blender. You absolutely can do it in a blender, but it will take a lot longer to do it in a blender. Nonna's got a lot of time on her hands, so she really doesn't mind to do it in a blender, right? I know. I know I use my blend, but this machine, I don't know. I never use. Okay, I'm just going to pop these into our food processor. So we're just going to turn this on. And Nonna will tell me when it's the right consistency because she knows. Okay, that's enough. This is okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to remove the blade. And I'm going to put this back into our bowl. Now, when I was just in Italy, I went to one of the most famous bakeries in all of Maladibari, which is the village that we come from. And this woman, Cecchina, is the most famous baker. She owns the bakery, and she actually uses a cheese grinder to grind her almonds because she says it can't be quite like an almond flour. It has to be a little bit coarser in texture because Malay's people can taste the almond under their teeth. They want to taste like chunks of almond. They don't want it to be so fine like a flour. So you can't really use almond flour in place of this because it's just too fine of a texture. You won't really get the same, the same mouthfeel to it. But the hardest part of all this is grinding the almonds. I promise you the rest of this is really, really easy and quick. And actually, we only have a few more ingredients. Once you have your ground almonds, we just have some sugar, some lemon zest, and some egg whites. And that's it. And this all comes together really, really quickly. OK, Nonna, so what's the next thing we got to do? So you put sugar all together now. After you put a egg, uh, you know, white uh, So we're going to put our sugar. Yeah. Our yes, lemon zest, which is going to give some great flavor, mm -hmm. and our egg whites. Egg white, that's all. Now, for the full measurements, you can go to cookingwithnona.com, and we'll have your measurements all listed for you there. Nonna, do you remember the first time you made biscottini? I don't know. It's made I uh, 12 years old because... Uh, I am the old one in my house, everything I do. When uh, the holiday come, I make everything. You make all the cookies for yeah, the holidays. Cartellate, bocconotti, pasta reale, all our, all our cookies I make. 
So one of my greatest memories is when I was a little girl and I would always come down to my nona's basement and I would see her and her Aunt Rosa, which is my other aunt that lives in America, and they would just be sprawled out in the kitchen making cookie after cookie. These are the very classic Pugliese Pasta Mandorla. It's an almond paste cookie that they make for every holiday and every special occasion. Uh, these cookies are typically made for weddings, for parties. I remember for my Sweet 16, Nonna and Zia Rosa made, how many yeah. pounds of cookies did you make for my party? <laughs> because almost every table they, they have two, two pounds of cookies. And they make a lot of kind. Bocolet, uh, they call a bocca di dame, biscottini, pasta mandorle. And I had a big party, so there were a lot of tables. Yeah. You know, so. Everybody loved the cookies, Italian cookies made by hand, you know, very good. So once you have all your ingredients mixed together, it's going to look like this, and you can start forming the cookies. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready to make some biscottini. That's a little. Hmm? Okay. So she's just coating her hands in flour so nothing sticks to them, and she's going to start rolling these into a little bit of a rope, kind of pulling them together into a long piece and rolling them into a little bit of a rope. So with the fork, you're going to take it and press down. Not too much. Okay. Okay. Not too much. Mm -hmm. And like my nonna likes to say, you got to push nice. Okay. Am I pushing nice? Yeah, you push okay. <laughs> okay, so now with the fork, she's going to cut on a diagonal. So with these two parts from the ends, what do you do? You throw away? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, but, oh, you know what I've got to do. Put over there. So we're going to take an ungreased baking sheet. And we're just going to arrange our biscottini. And yeah. the flour will help them to not stick. Yeah. So we're going to finish rolling these out, and then they're going to go into the oven for about 10 minutes. And once they've cooled off, we are going to start decorating. So now that our biscottini are cooled off, we are ready to ice them. You don't want to ice them as soon as they come out of the oven because, of course, they'll be too hot and the icing will melt. So to do our icing for our biscottini, we're going to do a classic glassa. So a glassa is the Italian word for icing. And we're going to do our glassa with some powdered sugar, some milk, and just mix them together. Really, really quick icing. Yeah. I parli, puoi dire. I got to mix milk and powdered sugar. Ma non supposed to pour too much the, the, mix, uh, the milk, altrimenti they come too... Too liquid, uh, no good. Otherwise, it'll come too li it'll become too liquid. You want a nice thick glass. Mm -hmm. So you add the milk little by little into the powdered sugar until you get the desired consistency. No, no you try. Mm -hmm. Try, you see the, the way they come. So we're gonna take a little bit of glass. Mm -hmm. Put in the top. And we're going to spoon it on top of our yeah, biscottino. Yeah. yeah. And you want to spread it. Yeah, yeah. So this spread is a right nice there. thick glass. This came out good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Beautiful. So look nice. You see? Yep. Very nice. Plate. We're going to take a plate. You put it inside. And we're going to rest our. After the dry, they come so white, nice. So before they dry, we want to take some sprinkles and decorate them. Just going to move our sprinkles up here. We have some red and green sugar for Christmas. Nana, you want to help me? Yeah, sure. You want to put a F green, F... Yeah, however you want. You can do some red, some green. So ideally, you want to put a little bit of glassa on the top and spread it around so it doesn't fall. So Nonna and I just finished decorating our biscottini. How do you think, Nonna? We do good? 
Yeah, I do good. <laughs> you do good too. It's a lot of very nice cookies. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to get to eat one now. What do you think? Can we eat them? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got to take one too. Yeah. Thank you. Mmm. It's so good. So, yeah. so good. I love these. I love them. The They're almonds the and the lemon zest and the sugar. It's really, really wonderful together. I look forward to these every year. Yeah. It's so special that you made these with me on my show, Nona. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Buon Natale. Buon Natale.